Hi, I'm Gary with Gary's Wine and Marketplace here with a good friend, Amy Aiken, to talk about, or not to talk about, to conspire with you about a great Sauvignon Blanc and a great Napa Valley Cabernet. Well, thank you. Good morning. It's good good to be morning. Here. You just got in from Napa Valley. So tell me about conspire while I use my Coravin. You said you've never used this before. So I'm going to use it on the first bottle and you'll use it on the second. So tell us about Conspire Sauvignon Blanc. Conspire Sauvignon Blanc is my wicked twist on a very fresh and wonderful beverage, um, Sauvignon Blanc from Rutherford in the Napa Valley. It is what I call the flowery side of Sauvignon Blanc versus the grassy kitty kitty side. I don't so what put, do you mean by flowery? You... Flowery like jasmine, honeysuckle, tulip. It's got a very floral aromatic character. Um, much stronger in the floral com components than grass or cats, because I don't think people want grass or cats in their wine. No, I don't, but uh, who knows? So this is the 2012 mm -hmm. Sauvignon Blanc, and well, I'm going to taste it first, okay? Okay. And while I taste it, you tell me about the three labels, because okay. that's really funny, actually. The Well, Conspire is my little wicked twist, and part of the wicked fun part was to make the label, and on the label, it's inspired by a painting by Carlo Marchiori. I have these three characters who are doing something a little bit naughty. They are conspiring to make a wine deal. So the first guy's bringing the wine in in a basket. The second guy's doing the flip. I'm still on the He's naughty. Like the deal. I'm, still, I'm still thinking naughty, but and that's then, okay. And then the third guy's taking it out. Uh, so and on the back, there's a little poem that I created. It's called A Wicked Thought, A Secret Plot, The Reward is Worth the Risk, Conspire with Me. It's all about being a little bit naughty, and you have my permission to be a little, be a little bit naughty. naughty. Thank you. That's awesome. I got to tell you, the aromatics are great. You're right. Um, I'm, I don't get jasmine, but that's I don't have that ability necessarily. But I do get great floral notes. I get a um, bright acidity. Uh, I think it would be great with food if we would have some food here, and we should do that next time. I got to tell you, awesome. Tell me what you Thank think you. about it. Well, what I think about it is rich, it's rich yet it's crisp. It's, it's rare, completely yeah. bone dry, but it delivers a really full, heavy mouthfeel. And I think that is very complementary to the fresh acidity to it. It doesn't hurt. It's not biting acidity, but it is definitely fresh. And that richness helps round everything out. gives a nice, long finish. I, I think it's an awesome, awesome Sauvignon Blanc. Do you want to play? Do I want to play? You have to guide me. Okay. Take this. Clamp. Put the clamp over. Perfect. Let go. Push it down. Flip it. See this That's the gadget beat. there? Yeah. Put it down. Release. Ah. Flip it. So if I were a barista, would that be a single shot or a double shot? Mm, that's a half a shot. Oh, okay. So now what are we tasting? We are tasting 2009 Napa Valley Meander Cabernet Sauvignon. And it is from two great vineyards in Napa Valley. One is the Llewellyn Vineyard on the south side of St. Helena, and the other is the Gary Morris Solis Vineyard in Rutherford. It's in the Golden Triangle of Rutherford between Scarecrow, Stagland, and England. And it gives, I think, great, powerful cherry plum aromatics um, with a really wonderful licorice backbone yeah. and a nice long finish. And it is mouth-filling Cabernet. You get that plum right in there. You know, you, you get, um, I, I, I even get some minerality in the nose a little bit, but I do get uh, plum, dark, really good dark fruits. And I was, I, that triangle I, I've run through there, what a, a great area. I think that should be our next tasting. What do you think we should taste? The triangle? Uh, triangle, everything from the triangle. Can you arrange for that? I absolutely, it'd be my pleasure. So will you conspire to get me some scarecrow? Sure, why not? Well, <laughs> so what I, you know, it's funny, I love, I think your 2008 meander was one of my favorite 2008s. And the 2009 has a little bit more structure, I think, than the eight. Mm -hmm. A little bit darker fruited. Mm -hmm. But the finish goes on forever, and it's got great balance. God, you should think about making wine for a living. I should. You really should. I yeah. think it would be a great idea. It would be nice if I could make a living making wine. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, <laughs> cheers. I'm Gary with Gary's Wine and Marketplace saying cheers. <laughs>